Hi, I'm Donna Lynn. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making chocolate covered peanut butter balls. My family and friends and hmm, acquaintances um, go nuts over these. I got this recipe about 35 years ago from a dear family friend. Um, her name was Mary, so my family calls them Mary's Candies. Um, but they're so good and I get requests from everybody every year at Christmas time, when are you making the peanut butter balls? So, and I, I was not allowed to give this recipe out, but I finally got permission. So I'm going to share it with everybody now. So I hope you enjoy these as much as my family and, and friends do. I'm actually doubling this recipe today, so you can cut everything in half uh, if you want to make just a single batch, but I've got a lot of people to give these to, so I'm, I'm doing a, a double batch today. So I'm starting off with four cups of chunky peanut butter and six cups of Rice Krispies, our crispy rice cereal. And you want to stir that together. Now I'm gonna add two sticks of melted butter. Stir that just a little bit. And finally, two pounds of confectioner's sugar. And this is going to take a couple minutes to mix together. So you can get a pretty good workout stirring this up. So now I'm going to roll it into little balls and I've got a baking sheet uh, covered with wax paper so they don't uh, stick to the tray. But you take just a little bit about that much and then press it into a ball and the double recipe depending on how big you make them will give you about 200 maybe you know between 185 and 200 um, peanut butter balls so I'll we'll get some of these rolled and then we'll get to the chocolate so I've got one tray of peanut butter balls rolled. So now I'm gonna melt my chocolate. I've got a makeshift double boiler. Um, I don't own a real double boiler, so I have two pots. Um, I've got some water uh, simmering. I'm gonna turn that down a little bit actually. And um, I'm just gonna dump four cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips. And then I've got three four ounce bars of baking chocolate. So I'll break those into squares. You wanna keep the heat high enough so the chocolate melts and stays melted, but not too high that the water uh, in the pot, in the bottom pot boils over. The chocolate is almost uh, fully melted now. I'm gonna add a half of a bar of um, household wax uh, paraffin and melt that in there. and it is edible. You don't have to use the household wax if you don't want. Um, it was included in the original recipe. Um, it does make the chocolate shiny, and I think it looks a little nicer, but 
chocolate's personal preference. So now the chocolate and the wax is all melted and I'm gonna start dipping the peanut butter balls. So you just put a little bit, shake off the excess, and put it on wax paper. And this is a time consuming, um, but definitely worth it. So I finished the first tray and they're all dipped in chocolate now and I'm gonna put it in the freezer for about an hour to speed up the process so the chocolate gets hard. And then I'll transfer them to a freezer bag to store them. These were in the freezer for about an hour and I got 200 pieces, just about 200 pieces of, uh, of candy. Let's try it. Mm. These are so good and I am not a huge fan of peanut butter. I hope you tried this recipe at home, and if you do, let me know how it turns out by leaving your comments below. I'd like to thank you for watching, and if you enjoy my video, please like and subscribe and share with your friends. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!